This is part two of teaching with Skype. I'm going to look at some of the advanced features, including how Copilot works inside Skype, which you can use both in the lesson or perhaps before the lesson. I've covered a lot of the key features in part one. And if you want to watch part one, it's on the screen now and you can click on the link and I'll also put it down in the description below. This is part two. Let's get started. Really hope you like the video. And of course, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Don't worry if you haven't got a dark screen. If you do want to have a dark screen, click here on settings and just simply click on appearance and you can change it from dark to light. So if you want a white screen, you can do that or you can put a dark screen, whichever you want. Right, let's get started. So within Skype, you have access to Copilot and Copilot can write you lists of vocabulary. It can make great exercises, true or false or comprehension or gap fill. It can produce sentences for you, etc. Get it to write a text, for example. In fact, you can see an example here on the screen now where I got uh, my I got it to write a text for my student to read. So these can be really time-saving techniques. Now, how can we access Copilot? Well, a couple of ways. First of all, you can come over to here on the right-hand side and just click on Discover Copilot. And it will do things like summarize the conversation that you've just had. So that can be really kind of useful, okay? And you can see now it says, can you summarize the main takeaways from our discussion so far? And it will summarize what you've been talking about or what you've highlighted during a lesson so far. But I'm just going to delete that off the screen. Another way to access Copilot is just to add in the A. And you should notice that Copilot appears and you can just click on it and give it a message. So for example, I'm going to just write, can you write 10 useful words connected with technology and let's see if copilot can do that for me so i'm just going to press enter and i'm hoping now that on the screen copilot is going to begin to write the 10 words for me connected with the topic of technology and it's done that now let's get it to do a second activity so let's imagine, for example, that those words are um, really useful and you want to practice uh, some sentences. So I'm going to say, can you write some sentences in English using those words so I can see them in context, which could be really useful for your students, okay? So if you're trying to explain the meaning of a word, much better if you've got a sentence to work from that you can then explain to your students. Now, it's very important for you to understand that Copilot doesn't just work in English, it works in multiple languages, because in fact, I use Copilot in my lessons in Polish. Okay, so you can see here that on the 9th of or October, I had a lesson, and you can see that my teacher highlighted during the lesson some vocabulary that I didn't understand. Now, what I can do is that I can start to ask Copilot to do things with that vocabulary. And the first question that I asked Copilot was, can you please translate all the words in the last lesson I had with Natalia on the 9th of October? Can you put them into a table? Now, I wasn't very impressed with the table that it produced, but it did do a great job of translating all the words for me, which can be really useful because sometimes I forget the words when she explained them during the lesson. So let's imagine that you want to have a discussion with your student about technology. Maybe what you could ask Copilot to do is to think of some useful questions for a discussion. So again, using the at, and I'm going to click on Copilot. So I'm talking to Copilot. I'm going to say, can you provide, sorry, me with 10 useful questions on the topic of technology? so that I can have a discussion with my students. Okay, and let's see. Now, I'm not putting the level in or anything. You'll have to look into that because you can kind of ask it to do intermediate, lower, etc. But I'm just trying to, at this point, really show you the sorts of things you can quickly get Copilot to do for you. And hopefully now, it's gonna produce a list of useful questions that we could use in the discussion. And it's done it really well. And in fact, I'm looking at those, some of those questions and they're really useful questions like the way that we communicate with each other, 
um, the future of education, the drawbacks, excellent. So I'm trying something a little bit tricky here. I've, I've written, can you make a closed test using a text about technology and include 10 missing words that students have to think of? I want to set up a closed space exercise with my students. So let's see, we call a, a gap fill activity. We often refer to it as a close. So I'm hoping that uh, Copilot understands that and it's gonna produce a nice text for me with 10 gaps in it. And it's done a lovely job absolutely brilliant and it's even uh, kind of laid it out so what you could do with that activity is get the students to do the activity and then what you want to do is ask uh, Copilot to give you the answers and uh, it's provided me with the answers there as well so that would be useful okay so we looked at a few ideas with the AI there and remember you could use the AI during the lesson but you could also use the AI before the lesson to prepare and there are some other features that are very interesting in Skype that you can use as well to prepare. So you can even record audio before the lesson or even video that you want the students to listen to uh, before they actually have the lesson. So I'm going to move on now to show you some other features in Skype that you might find interesting. Now, another interesting thing that you can do is leave an audio message. So you can click on this button here and it straight away it starts to record everything you say blah, 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 blah. And then you can just click on that button there and send that message, okay? And then of course the teacher, or sorry, the student will be able to click and listen to the message. So let's see if that worked. This button here, and it straight away it starts to record everything you say. So absolutely perfect. So that's really, really useful. For example, let's imagine you're teaching, uh, you wanna give them some students some instructions about something that you want them to do before the lesson, or perhaps even something that you want them to listen to, then that would be an option. Another option is that you can obviously share files. So if you click here, you can share a file, just choose the file that you wanna share and then click on obviously to upload. I'm gonna delete that. And I've just shown you how to share audio. We can actually do the same thing working with uh, video as well. So if you wanted to leave a message, for example, a webcam message, then that's also possible uh, clicking on this button in a similar way that you could leave an audio message. Now, another good feature is that you can add polls in Skype. And if you come over to here and just click, notice that you've got create a poll it's very easy to create a poll just write your question here so for example i'm going to say what is the capital of england and then i'm going to put in my options so i'm going to write here for example london paris and notice that if I want to, if I just scroll down, I can add an option. So I'm going to say, for example, uh, Madrid. And then I'm going to create, now it's a poll, so there's no correct answer. You can set when the poll is going to expire. So my one is going to expire tomorrow at five o'clock. And I click create, create poll. And it's immediately shared onto the screen when you click and share the poll with the students so that they can complete it. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And don't forget, if you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. We've got this menu system here at the top and there's plenty of drop down menus and I've tried to organize the content to make it easier to find the content. And there's a special AI section that you might find really useful and that is becoming very popular. Don't forget also that you can sign up to the newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get a free 14 part video course, which basically highlights the best technologies that I've come across for teaching and learning. Remember my specialization really is using technology for language teaching. And there are no tricks, literally all the technologies that I show you are free. Another thing you can do is join me on Patreon if you want to have live training with me. For $6 a month, you get a monthly training session where we all meet online and we look at a technology in detail. We do activities with that technology to really learn it. So you can then obviously bring it into your teaching and learning. And along with that, I also add up every month three additional videos. Now these videos are exclusive to Patreon. There are no advertisements, I get straight into the training. And I often deal with technologies that I don't cover in my YouTube videos, particularly AI technologies, or I go into more detail. 
Now, the other great thing about Patreon is that if you join Patreon, you get access to all the previous videos that have already been uploaded. Okay, I'm going to leave on the screen now a few more videos that you might find very interesting and that link really well with Skype.